Hey everyone, today we're going to be talking about equipment you need to get started in archery. Obviously you need a bow, so I have Justin from Shooters Archery here today. We're at the archery shop to kind of go over some of the other gear that you need besides a bow. So we're going to give you, take you on a quick shop tour and we're going to show you all the different stuff that you'll need. Once you find the bow that you're going to shoot, the next important part is the arrows. Um, what I would do is go to a local shop, tell them what your objective is with the bow, and they'll help you select a right arrow for your job. Because the arrows have to match the view, they have to the bow, uh, everything has to work together, but you don't really have to worry about all that. That's what experts like Justin are for. They'll get the right size arrow, the right type of arrow for whatever you want to do with it. So the next nice thing to have when you're shooting is a hip quiver of some sort. Alright, so when you're target shooting, it's going to be a lot easier just to have your, the arrows on your side instead of sticking them on the ground, you know, in the bow quiver itself. So that's where a hip quiver really comes in handy. When you're shooting a compound bow, you're going to need a release aid like this release right here. Um, if you're also going to be shooting a long bow or a recurve, you're going to need a finger tab. Uh, it's just going to protect your fingers. And then also while we're over here, the, the wrist slings are here. This is going to help aid um, in not dropping your bow, which is pretty important. So when it comes to protecting your investment, you can get a nice easy soft pace. They're going to be easy to move around, you know, just putting in the back of the car. You're not doing anything too crazy with it. But if you are going to be flying and go into events, you know, across the state and stuff like that, that's when I would step up and get a hard case. Alright, so we already covered most of the main stuff that you're going to need, but here's some other little stuff block target for if you're going to be an at-home archer and you, have, you don't have a range really close to you. Um, some other stuff is going to be some string wax. It's going to help protect your string um, from wear and tear and stuff like that. Um, some Allen wrenches for adjusting your sight and other stuff like that. Um, an arrow puller to help you pull your arrows out of said target. Um, and a bow stand. Uh, it's going to help keep your bow up and out of the mud so you don't have to lay it down and stuff like that. So there you go. Okay, so that's everything you need to get started in archery, minus the bow. So thank you to Justin for helping us out with today's video, and we'll see you all in the next one.